Okay, so we're back in Onshape here, and let's take a little bit of a deeper dive into Extrusion. So we're going to go ahead and click Sketch, and we're going to choose an initial plane to sketch. And we're going to go ahead and turn off, just for so it's not so confusing, we're going to go ahead and not turn off, but just hide the, uh, the origin planes there. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the top, uh, just to top um, of the cube, just to bring everything into... Uh, so we're kind of on a looking straight down on our 2D plane. And we're going to go ahead and um, and create a uh, rectangle here. And we're going to extrude it. Um, so we're going to dimension it to be uh, four, actually six by four. Okay. All right, there we have it. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and um, click um, the green check. And we're going to go ahead and extrude it. Okay, now notice, now we're going to take a little bit of a closer look here. So on the extrude, notice we have new, add, remove, and intersect, right? Okay, so we're still on, on new, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click our, um, whoops, we're going to turn back our origin back on here just so we can kind of see. And we're going to click the mouse to, oh, not click the mouse, we're going to right click to pan around so we can kind of see it in our three dimensions there. And we're going to go ahead and select uh, this, um, the rectangle that we made, and there's our extrusion, right? Now I can drag this, uh, this arrow out. Um, I can also, um, I can also, uh, uh, provide a, a measurement, right? So I could say we want to extrude it four inches. And there we can uh, click uh, click the green check there. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and uh, and create a second extrusion. So let's say that we want to do, um, you know, we want to add a, for example, let's say we want to put a hole in it, right? Okay, so we can go ahead and um, and just uh, we can choose any plane. So it doesn't have to be one of these origin planes. We can just choose a plane on the object. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our sketch directly on the top of that. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and, <laughs> I'm used to clicking the cube. So I'm gonna go ahead and do right click to rotate. So notice that our sketch is now sitting directly on the top of our rectangular solid there. I'm gonna go ahead and hide the origins uh, just, just so it's easier for us to see it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click the um, the back there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're we're kind of working on the back side of this of this object here. All right. Um, so let's say that we want to put in a. Um, let's say that we want to um, make a hole, but we want to kind of make it kind of a specific shape. All right. So so you want to create kind of a square hole. And we want that square hole to have a circle in the middle of it, like a cylinder in the middle of it that's going to be left. Okay, so so basically what I'm showing you here is that we can, um, so I'm going to click the circle tool again and then move it a bit out. Okay, and let's go ahead and we're going to position this rectangle um, inside the, the other rectangle. Okay, so we're going to click uh, the dimensioning tool. We're going to click on one side of the rectangle, click on the exterior rectangle, and then bring it up, okay? So let's say that that's gonna be a one inch uh, space there, okay? And we're gonna click and click again and bring it up. And this is gonna be a one inch space also. Okay, and notice because I didn't apply any dimensions to the rectangle, it's just pulling it uh, to satisfy the dimensions, right? So everything around here is gonna be one inch. Okay, one inch of space on all sides. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the center point of the circle. Okay, notice that we can either do the, um, we can either do the outside of the circle, okay, or we can do the center point of the circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the center point of the circle. Oops. And I just control Z too much. Control Z undoes, un, undoes things and control Y uh, redoes things here. Okay, so we're actually going to do. Oops, 
I think I got out of my dimension tool. Sorry about that. We're just going to go from the center of the of the of the circle to the to the side of the rectangle, and click, and we're going to make that three inches. And then we're going to go to the center of the circle to the side. Um, sorry, to the top of the rectangle, and we're going to make that two inches. Okay, so notice I'm using dimensioning to uh, to position that circle there. Okay, so everything has to be kind of dimensioned in and kind of locked in there. Uh, with dimensions. My last dimension I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, um, actually I'm not going to make that, oops. And what if we try to change this? Well, we're just going to make it one inch. Okay. All right. So here we go. So uh, so we're kind of fully, fully dimensioned here and we're going to go ahead and now do our extrusion. So we're going to click the green check. Okay, so here is our sketch, right on the back on the back side of the uh, of our uh, rectangular solid. Now we're going to extrude, and this time we're going to use the remove. Okay, so we're going to click remove, and we're going to select part of this sketch. Now notice I can choose the circle, I can choose the space inside of the circle, right? So if you see here, notice that that that's going into the the object there. Okay, so let's say we want to do uh, let's say we want to do two inches. Okay, and we hit enter. Okay, so there you can see that we have uh, we have basically there there it's going in two inches, right? Okay, um, and we're going to go ahead and click the green check. Let's say though, let's say now, uh, so we see that we have that extrusion done. Uh, let's say that we made a mistake. Let's say we want to go back and we want to edit that extrusion. Well, if you notice over here on our uh, features bar, um, you'll see that we can do go, um, we can double click the extrusion. Okay, and basically that comes up and we can now edit it. So let's say instead of two inches, we want to go 2.5 inches. Enter. Okay, and so now our extrusion is corrected. All right. And wouldn't you know what? I made another mistake. I'm going to double click it and we're going to change it to uh, one inch. Okay, there we have it. All right, so there, we, there we're removing tool, we're, we are removing uh, material with the extrusion. Okay, let's go ahead and create a third sketch. We're going to extrude a third way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click sketch and we're going to click on the back side of the uh, rectangular solid there. So we put our sketch on the back of the rectangular solid. I'm right clicking to uh, to to um, I'm right clicking to rotate the object and moving moving kind of, kind of clicking and dragging, but with the right click, right? So you're clicking and dragging to rotate it with the right click. Then I'm going to go ahead and just click on the left side of the cube to bring uh, the 2D. Whoops, to bring our 2D um, uh, sketch kind of flat towards us. Uh, I'm uh, scrolling the mouse out to zoom out, and then I'm clicking on the mouse and moving the mouse over to uh, to um, pan over, right? To basically drag the whole thing over. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is that I want to um, I'm going to go ahead and make a line, and I'm going to draw that line right on the existing uh, bottom of the sketch. Okay, I'm going to control Z there. Okay, then I'm going to do a three-point arc. Okay, so I'm going to click on one side of the line, click on the other side of the line, and I'm going to pull up that arc. Okay. All right, there we have it. So I have this arc. Okay, the next thing that I want to do here is that I want to make that arc tangent to the top of the top of the um, of the uh, rectangular solid. So I'm going to click tangent. I'm going to click on the circle. Then I'm going to click on the um, on the rectangular solid, and you can see that there now that's now uh, the two lines are tangent to each other. Okay, that's our first use of what are called constraints. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is that um, that we're actually going to um, make another line just for just to kind of make our point here. Actually, let's leave it as is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click the, the green check to leave our sketch. And now we're going to do a third kind of extrusion. So we're going to click on extrude and we're going to click intersect. 
and we're going to click this and uh, let's go ahead and uh, kind of rotate here. Okay, so and zoom in. Okay, so we're going to click this circle and we're going to click the box, okay, the uh, rectangular solid. So now notice that, that, um, that basically what's happening here is that only the intersection is left, right? Oops. I clicked two things there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and actually just click the <laughs> click the the um, the uh, um, space right there. We don't actually need to click the box. Okay, and the depth we're going to go ahead and make it, make it. Notice that now intersect only leaves material where the the um, shape you're extruding and the existing material exists. If that makes sense. Okay, so notice that on these corners. Um, the extrusion isn't running into them, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and instead of doing a blind extrusion, we're going to go to next. So notice to next. So notice that goes all the way through, okay? We can also go to face. Okay, and notice then I have to click the face, right? So that will bring the extrusion all the way through the, through the object there. Okay, it's very, very, very useful, especially because you don't want to be sitting here remembering every single distance, right? You can also go to, to part, to vertex, or through all. So if you just want to keep going through everything in the drawing, you can do that too. All right, so we're just going to keep it on two face and go ahead and click the green check. Okay, so you can see here that you can create very complex shapes using using um, the uh, excuse me, just the extrude tool alone, you can create very complex shapes. Um, so best of luck.